What's all the buzz about butterflies? These insects are pollinators. Pollinators include beetles, bats, hummingbirds, bees, and many other small animals vital in creating the food we eat. Together, they make an enormous contribution to our food supply, the health of our environment, to agriculture and our economy. Pollinators contribute more than $24 billion to the United States economy. But now, monarch butterflies, bees, and other pollinators could use your help because their numbers are declining. Most pollinators feed on energy-rich nectar or pollen inside blooms. While foraging, pollen attaches to the animals and they transfer it to other parts of a flower, pollinating it. Only after a bloom is pollinated can it develop fruit-containing seeds to grow the next generation of plants, including foods we eat. But according to mounting scientific research, pollinators are diminishing in population size because of habitat loss, contaminants, and disease. What's something you can do to help pollinators? <laughs> Join us in planting native Texas wildflowers, flowering shrubs and trees. I am really excited we have this many volunteers. The Native Plant Society of Texas and the Texas Department of Transportation, TxDOT, are creating monarch waystation gardens at TxDOT safety rest areas along the Interstate 35 corridor. This is an educational effort as well as created habitat. And so we're hoping that efforts like this will encourage people to plant waste stations at their own homes. And that can be as small as 100 square feet. While taking a break from driving, check out the types of plants you can grow to give pollinators a break and potentially change the outlook on their diminishing populations. It's mutual interest. They're important to us not only for preserving our native plants, but also to keep our food production going. Where you live and with just a few plants, you can help pollinators develop and grow in numbers. Insects need habitat, a home, where they can transform as they grow. Monarchs are migratory pollinators, dependent on habitats containing milkweed plants. These pollinators lay eggs only on milkweed, their eggs hatch into caterpillars that feed only on milkweed leaves. A well-fed caterpillar transforms into a chrysalis. Inside, the monarch caterpillar becomes an adult butterfly. In spring, from breeding grounds in Mexico, monarchs fly north to Canada stopping in Texas to lay eggs and feed. During fall migration, these insects fly from Canada back to breeding grounds in Mexico. Along the way, they feed on flowering plants in Texas. By planting and maintaining nectar and pollen producing plants, including milkweed, you can provide pollinators with habitats and energy rich food essential for their survival, especially during long migrations. As one of the largest land managers in the state, the Texas Department of Transportation conducts research and implements new methods for creating healthy pollinator habitats in right-of-ways that total over 800,000 acres. When guidelines and safety allow, TxDOT reduces mowing along roadsides so grasses, wildflowers, and wildlife habitats can grow. This also lowers agency expenses. Pollinator seed mixes created by the South Texas Native Project and TxDOT are planted on roadsides and construction sites. TxDOT has been planting wildflowers and native grass seeds since the 1930s. This ground cover stabilizes soils and reduces erosion, while providing wildlife with habitat and creating beautiful roadsides for travelers. TxDOT worked closely with Lady Bird Johnson to implement the 1965 Highway Beautification Act. Take a look around where you live. It's easy to grow plants for pollinators, especially wildflowers. And you'll be making a difference for pollinators while helping to sustain and grow our food supply.